What if the center of our galaxy isn't a supermassive black hole after all, but instead a massive amount of dark matter? Now either of these ideas is ridiculous at face value. Black holes have never been observed, neither has dark matter, but that is the state of science. In my opinion, it's fairy tales, but let's dive into it tonight and discuss the fact that the center of the Milky Way may not be a black hole after all. <laughs> now, if in fact the center of our galaxy isn't a supermassive black hole, but instead a massive amount of dark matter, wow, it might look like this an artist's representation of, well, what it might look like. <laughs> Again, another fairy tale. But it certainly would flip our long-held understanding of the Milky Way. And apparently that long-held understanding is that at the center of the Milky Way, there's a massive black hole. But now there may be a massive dark matter sun or something. Now, the idea of a supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way is well established according to the mainstream, based partly on the orbit of specific stars like SO2 or other objects that are out in this region that they've been observing, actually, doing actual science. And so here is a small graphic showing you, and the X would be on Sagittarius A. Now, this this work is based on the orbit of specific stars, and we'll get to that a little later, but scientists study the objects in orbit as a way to extrapolate what they're actually orbiting around. And in this case, scientists claim that a supermassive black hole four million times the mass of the sun is at the X. Can't you see it? Now, this supermassive black hole fairy tale is called Sagittarius A, which is at the X, or the plus, however you want to look at it. And SO2 and other established stars are pulled every which way in their orbits around Sagittarius A. And recently, they even claim that some weird gas balls are swirling around Sagittarius A, and we'll get to that. But here, well, here is a graphic, the most recent of up to 55 objects that they've calculated moving around that center point, Sagittarius A. And many of these objects are go into extreme orbits that scientists measure in order to get some idea of what the supermassive quote-unquote black hole is all about. Or in this case, the dark matter blob or dark sun. Now, think about this scientifically, and what they're doing is simply observing. It's similar to how soap suds behave as water swirls down the drain, and what that tells you about what the drain is doing. Even if you can't see the drain directly, the behavior around it would give you clues to what the drain is or looks like, according to science. Now, scientists are still conducting that kind of research, but a new-to-us class of space objects is casting a shadow over the black hole theory. Now, these objects look like gas, but behave like stars. And I go back to the weird gas balls swirling around. Well, it's not even Uranus, which it should be, but it's the center of the galaxy, which they're now claiming as a dark energy, dark matter ball. I'm sorry, dark energy is different. We'll get to that. A dark matter in the center of the galaxy is being swirled around by gas balls. <laughs> it, I mean, it gets, this is like Dr. Seuss. Now, scientists are still conducting research, but these G objects, or gas balls, have orbits ranging from 170 to 1600 years around the center of our galaxy. And recently, their wonky orbits led to a new competing theory to describe the center of the Milky Way, which is a delicious candy bar, by the way. And in 2014, scientists observed object G2, 
gas ball to, past its closest point to Sag A and become a stretched out and distorted object. Wow. It's like science fiction. And this phenomenon is known as drag. Scientists from the International Center for Relativistic Astrophysics in Italy say this is a sign that Sag A might be something other than a supermassive black hole. Holy macaroni. Now in 2020, the same research team published findings that Gas Ball 2 and Star 2 might be experiencing the same different kind of gravitational pull near Sagittarius A. And that is the green object and the red object. They say the way these objects behave is more consistent with a specific kind of dark matter in their side-by-side -side analysis of black holes versus dark matter as an explanation. Dark matter was a better statistical fit based on the papers. And we have the data. Now, the only problem is that all of this is fairy tale science. Dark matter is matter that we can't see. But according to scientists, we can measure it through its effect on gravity, which we don't know about, and objects around it. Now, dark matter makes up 30% of the mass of our universe, which pales in comparison to some numbers I'm about to shed. <laughs> So, dark matter makes up 30% of the mass of our universe, yet it's invisible, and so far, never has been directly observed. So, 30% of the universe is invisible and has never been observed. But its presence, along with the related idea of dark energy, makes up 99.5% of the mass of the universe around us. Are you picking up what we just put down? According to mainstream scientists, they, are, they have never directly observed 99.5% of the mass of the universe. But they claim it's there. And they also claim that this may provide the missing piece to a ton of questions in physics and cosmology. <laughs> well, of course it would. Because your physics and your cosmology are science fiction. Now, according to the scientists, dark matter, and I, I'm not part of this group, by the way, <laughs> dark matter can and does turn into black holes. So one fairy tale idea does turn into the other fairy tale. Isn't that very convenient? So dark matter can and does turn into black holes 99.5% of the time, according to scientists. But these scientists also posit that Sagittarius A is instead a blob-like mass that will require a lot more material in order to turn into a black hole. Now, for now, it could just be a dense blob that still attracts nearby objects as a black hole does, according to scientists. And if it is a kind of proto-future black hole in the dark matter realms then that could explain how supermassive black holes form in the first place, something that we've been puzzling about for decades, according to these scientists. Now, now if your mind isn't blown about the lack of their information, well then, I haven't done my job. In this new study accepted for publication in the MNRAS letters, the Italian, Argentinian, and Colombian scientists explain that not just the direct effect of the gas ball and the space ball objects line up with the dark matter theory. They expanded their study to the closest, mo most well-understood stars orbiting Sagittarius A. And we've shown you that graphic. Quite spectacular. Nanu, nanu. And what these scientists found is that those stars also behave consistently with the dark matter model. Now, dark matter, dark matter matters. But it's unobservable. So, what do these findings mean? Well, when it comes to the swirling mysteries at the heart of our galaxy, 
It's just a schmalaxy, <laughs> apparently. And 99.5% of all of what scientists know has been unobserved and is made up. Holy macaroni. This is good news. These scientists have put out an ambitious new theory and subsequent work will either back them up or respectfully disagree, citing different analysis and observation that will continue to lead toward a better understanding of supermassive black holes and of Sagittarius A in particular and could help solve the mystery on why plasma cosmology, astrophysics and astrology, astronomy and every other field is now basing all of their information on 99.5% of unobservable information. Boom! What about the epica data? What if that center of our galaxy here, as shown here, is actually a plasmoid, a servo connected by a Birkeland current to other galaxies with a resonant pattern shown here on the Epica 2 data, which goes back almost a million years, which shows a 100,000 year resonant pattern, which is our sun powering our solar system. And this powering, this extension cord is plugged in, well, to here. What if? Hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. When you're plugged in and you're about to go down, downtown, Lee Road Brown, straight down. Be safe. We love each and every one of you. Science is dead. But our channel, well, science is reborn. Click on one of the other boxes to get up to speed. And be safe. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people and leave a comment below.